Hello everyone, it is Patrick Menzner from Mr. Electric 2002. Today we're going to focus on something uh, more electrical, like my YouTube channel name. So I'm going to talk about how does the pole transformer work. This is the pole transformer that's in my backyard. It serves my house. So, you're probably wondering, what is this jumbled mess of wire? Don't worry about that wire right there. Only worry about that wire, transformer wires in that top line. So what happens here is the power comes in through that very top thin line right there. Goes through fuse cutout, which you can see right there, and then goes into the transformer through that top bushing right there. What happens next? So next it goes through that bushing in the core in the transformer. And you can see there's a second top top bushing on the top of the transformer with the wire that comes out of it. Right uh right on the right side, right, right tip of my finger. The wire comes out that and it grounds itself and completes a circuit. So let's take a look at that. If we move a bit closer, there's this wire right here, this is this is the ground wire. This grounds the neutral side of the hot of the primary winding, the neutral side of the primary winding, and it grounds itself. So if this was cut, the transformer would theoretically stop working if there's no if there was no other way to ground it. So let's talk about the secondary side. So you can see there's three wires that come out of the front of the transformer. It is labeled 25 kVA, it's kilovolt amps, at 12240 volts. So the two wires on the far left and far right are the two hot wires, and the one in the middle is the neutral wire. So between the two on the left and right, if you took those two and use an appliance on those, you get 240 volts. If you went in between the left in the middle or the right in the middle, you get 120 volts. Now you can see the neutral will not shock you in a home outlet. That's because you can see there's a grounding pigtail that is uh, clamped to the casing of the transformer, the, the tank. And this is what keeps it from shocking you. So it's clamped there. It goes down to the service drop right here. It goes to people's houses. Now let's talk about what happens. So it's the case and the, the the neutral side of the primary and the case are both hooked to that grounding wire that we saw on the base of the pole that goes into the ground. So let's go over what happens. Power comes in through the top line, goes to the fuse cutout. In case anything would over would overload, the fuse would explode. It's very loud, like a shotgun blast. So you'd know if you heard one and it goes through the primary of the transformer, grounds itself, completing the circuit. Then through magnetic flux and force, the secondary then gets power, which goes out as 12240 volts, which the neutral is grounded to the case, which is also grounded to the pigtail. So that would be the circuit. Whatever you, you use in your house is then functional then. Once again, do not ever cut this wire. I know you probably wouldn't, but this wire right here is a grounding pigtail. This is what completes the circuit. It's called phase to ground. There's phase to phase and phase to ground. This transformer is a phase to ground. So, hope that was informative for you. And as always, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.